I've been playing with Blender 2.8 for a few hours straight now, and I've come across a couple of things that I wanted to share with you guys to make you guys' lives a bit easier. Hey guys, welcome back to by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.8, taking a look at a couple of things that I, uh, I came across. Uh, while using the principled shader over here, um, I came up with a pretty, a pretty nice, pretty simple, pretty easy material um, that doesn't use a lot. I have a little bit of metallic, a little bit of uh, roughness uh, going on, some subsurface, uh, some sub subsurface scattering. Um, but uh, all in all, it's it's pretty easy, pretty simple. I actually have uh, my film uh, uh, somewhere in here. Color management set the film. Um, instead of uh, instead of RTT or default, whatever it was, um, so <clears throat> really looks like that. But I did change my my color from from that to um, from to 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 film. By the way, just wanted to point that out before we got started. Um, I came across a lot of really strange things that didn't used to work this way. So, for instance, if I were to add in a uh, really quickly, if I just add in an ambient occlusion node, which is a really 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 cool node. Um, that I'll probably be featuring on the channel uh, pretty pretty soon, actually. But if I were to plug this up into the base color of the principled shader, you would see that nothing pretty much happens. It just gets a bit lighter because of this color right here, and other than that, nothing happens. There's no there's no ambient occlusion happening. There's no nothing. The reason is because it has to be checked over here for it to actually work. And th this took me the longest time. <laughs> I was like, what? why are these nodes not working? Because previously, if you hooked up a node, it would just work uh, once you hooked it up. Obviously, you plugged it in, it, it, was, it was good, and it was ready to go. It was snappy. But now, you have to actually come over to the Scene tab, make sure you're on this, uh, this Settings tab here, and then go and actually check it, and then the ambient occlusion will work. Once we have that checked, we can actually go and, and mess around with a lot of these settings here. These settings are actually pretty amazing and help quite a bit. I mean, you can just see how... How great this is, just, it's literally insane. Like I mentioned before, we have a couple of 2.8 videos on the channel. 2.8 is actually really amazing. It just has a lot of really weird and different things that you're going to have to get used to. And it might be a bit frustrating for us old heads, but um, but it's definitely worth it because it's, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, one of the other things I was having a problem with is the subsurface scattering. As you can see, there's no subsurf right now. I can just hit, I can put this back on zero. Let me get rid of that ambient occlusion. I can put this back on zero. Let me change the color to white so you can see 100% that there's nothing going on here. Um, I can change the, 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 ooh, no, 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 white, white. There we go. No, no, see, I'm on the wrong RGB. RGB, and then all to white. All right, there we go. So if you see right now, I have subsurf on 100% uh, zero right now. There's nothing going on. There's no subsurf. If I were to put it back to one, you can see, Pretty much nothing changed other than the fact this is solid white now. The reason, let me get rid of this ambient occlusion shader. Um, the reason is because this is not checked over here on the side. Uh, right there. We have that. Now if I were to go ahead and actually make this a color, you can see our subsurface working. It's, it was quite tedious <laughs> for, me to, for me to figure this out. It took a little bit of time. But it was it was annoying me because I knew there was some something that was different. You can see here toggling it on and off. Um, let me just do it by the right here. You can see the difference that this has on the render, and it was it was killing me. I didn't know what the problem was. I didn't know what was going on. Uh, but now we have these settings over here that you're gonna want to keep in mind when you're um, doing anything. This is also the case with um, depth of field. And bloom bloom is fantastic by the way you can just go ahead and mess with the threshold and now you have a little bit of post-processing um, these are all kind of post-processing type effects here so I think uh, I'm gonna like I said I'm probably gonna do a individual video on things like um, ambient occlusion and um, subsurface scattering and things like that of course you still have this individual node rather than just the one on print the, the, the principal shader of course um, but yeah, it, it took me a while. You have to go over here and check these settings on. Make sure they're functioning properly or else they're not going, going to work. And yes, this depth of field is beautiful, but you will not get this black line right here. So if I were to go ahead and render this right now, um, uh, uh, render. If I were to render this, you'd be able to see that um, it would. It's not actually. Um, it's not actually 
taking taking that black line. That was just because we were in real time rendering, and um, it's good, but it's not perfect. <laughs> so so it's gonna. You see the samplings, the samples going up over here. We have to wait for the samples, and then as soon as the samples are complete, then the render is finished. Sixty four and. There you go. See that that black line is no longer visible anymore. Now we just have that beautiful uh, depth of field. So that is pretty much it for today's video. I just wanted to make sure you guys knew you have to go ahead and check those check boxes, or else things are not going to work. It's going to be really frustrating. You're going to think that uh, you know subsurf isn't working, ambient occlusion isn't working, bloom isn't working, all that kind of stuff. But it definitely is working. It's it's looking amazing. It's looking beautiful. Um, but yeah, so uh, we're going to be doing a lot more 2.8 videos. This is the first beta release. Um, that was released uh, a little bit ago, but yeah, uh, so like I said, we'll do more 2.8 videos in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something new. Hope this helped you out. Hopefully you weren't, uh, you weren't pulling out too many hairs, uh, trying to figure out what was going on, but I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, but until then, bye-bye.